because they change September 1. So just, oh, okay. like, leave them in a waiting room, you know, or yeah, something like that. that, you know? I already have orders for my text. Mm, we're big. You know we're big. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Elizabeth? Friendster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Party I know. I felt so funny. I was like, I know that this is the first one that. Elizabeth, you, Elizabeth and I did meetings together for oh, five wow. to seven years. So, and I went to see her the day before. Did she sign up? That's why you look familiar. We yeah. were there at the same time that Friday. Yes. Yes, we were there yeah. at the same time. Yes, yeah. ma'am. I was going out of town, and I, that's right. Nobody would answer my phone calls, and it was like, I'm just gonna stop. Yes, you know that's right. We were all there. We were there at the same time. Well, I'm glad you are here with me. So you have a, a, a list. So a Elizabeth's order. upline is a friend of mine because you know she left and came back. Right. So when she came back, she signed underneath our friend Michael, the one I was telling you about. So Michael and I like, um, what were we doing last week that we texted about her? And um, I can't what it was. But one of the new. Car. Okay. Sorry, I forgot my phone. Okay. One of the new products that's coming out, I think she would have loved. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So my name is Tiffany, for those of you who don't know, and everything you need to stock me is on the very front of your catalog. So if you're not already on my Facebook page or don't have me saved in your phone, save me as Pamper Chef Tiffany because you may forget my first name in six months, but you'll never forget Pamper Chef. So if you'd like something, you need to replace something or revise something, we can take care of that. Um, oh, where is my master catalog? Okay. Ooh. Are you gonna watch today, Drew? I have nothing better. Today. So every this is my say, Drew. Every time you say Drew, I'm like, where? <laughs> this is my Drew. So Jeanette and I were trying to figure out how long we've known each other, and I think the Drews were little. I'm trying to remember if Mia was even around. I don't think Mia was around. I don't think. Well, she's the same age as Drew. My Drew, right. So, so maybe, maybe. So how old? When will he be? Twelve. December. So Mia's October. So we met for yeah. Jennifer Banks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and Jennifer Banks's neighbor. Kate Nelson okay. is how yeah. I met Jennifer. So Kate and I, Kate's husband's best friend, if you follow that, they all went to Mason together. Yeah. And so Jen, Jen and Forrest, Jenny and Forrest are their names. Um, Jen and I were together since we were like ninth or 10th graders. Her parents had season tickets to the Admirals game right behind my grandparents. Like that's how small world and six degrees of separation you have in Virginia Beach. So. And then Jen and I are, not Jen, but Kate and I, our boys are the same age and our girls are the same age. And then, of course, Roy and Jen, you know, they were right behind there. So they had the older kid where we had the little kids. And yeah. then they had the gate in between that we would, you know, do all that fun stuff. All right. So, um, okay. So also on the front is a little round up sticker. So what I do is I round all the orders to the next whole dollar. That little bit of change goes back to our food bank in Norfolk, right on Tidewater Drive. It is all zip code driven. And for every dollar they're able to collect, they can provide 11 meals to those in need. So especially this time of year, um, it is uh, the kids who are not in school and not getting their free and reduced lunches. This is really important this time of year. Um, so that will make your, uh, your total a nice even number. So if you're on the hide it from hobby plan and you do half in cash and half in card, that works really nicely because we're not chasing pennies. Um, and also we're doing it and we have a good deal. So let's start at the very beginning of the catalog is where we have some new cookware. So that's where you'll see on pages four and five, the stainless and the new nonstick cookware. So this just came out in March. We have two stainless pieces right now and you might be looking at them going, those aren't stainless, but they really are. So they're stainless all over and then they have this nonstick coating in the inside that kind of gives it the benefit of a nonstick pan and a stainless steel pan. So the same properties of it you're used to with stainless will still shine through. So the meat will kind of stick, and then when you remove it, you can um, deglaze the pan with some wine or some broth, release those little flavorful bits, and make a roux or a gravy out of that. Um, however, I've gotten a little bit uh, more comfortable using this, and I can fry an egg in there, and I'm not scared. I used to be completely scared of stainless. So now I'm a little bit more comfortable. Uh, my teen living guru back here has tried to school me on how to make omelets. So, um, that's been a great pan. So over here, the non-stick side, what we have is all the pieces are now a la carte. They used to be kind of in sets, and we only had a few pieces you could buy individually. So now you can buy them all a la carte, which is really nice. Now on the back, say Jeanette wanted to get her a, new, a brand new set of cookware, she could get this entire set on the back here. That's a combination just available to hostesses. You could get that little um, 
cookware basic set and get a little bit of everything for you for half price if you wanted to. So a couple things that I really like about the new cookware is it just kind of got a facelift. So they upgraded um, how they do the nonstick coating. Um, it is PFOA free. So does anybody know what that stands, know what that really long word is? Have you heard of PFOA? That's what people are scared of when they hear like, oh, nonstick non -stick cookware can give you cancer. Have you heard that? Okay, so that's, it's, it's PFOA free. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, with this, it is safe on your stove top. It is safe in your oven. Um, it is also newly dishwasher safe. So before our cookware, our nonstick was not dishwasher safe. And it's nice because I have people that do my dishes for me and they like to be able to put everything in the dishwasher. Um, the handle is also removable, so it makes it a lot easier for storage purposes and also for loading in the dishwasher. So if you were to put it in the oven and then bring it out, I don't know how many times I've accidentally grabbed a hot handle because, yes, you know that it came out of the oven, but you're still not thinking and you grab it. At least when I put this nice cool handle on, it's cool, and, um, and these all interchange between all the pots. So you don't have to remember which one went on this pan and which one went on that pan. So today we're going to do some chicken the girly way, which is grill it like a girl in the house, and we're going to grill our, uh, with, uh, our grill pan right there and that's the pan that you see right there at the bottom on page five um, that we're going to use but if you flip over one more you're going to see how the pans stack really nicely inside one another you're going to see how they stack really nicely in the dishwasher um, you they show them in the oven um, over on page seven you're going to see what's called all, our all-purpose no, I'm sorry our multi-pot wrong name multi-pot so I love this because I like to do um, dishes that are just a one pot wonder and I don't have to worry about getting out multiple pots and all that so you see the one with the broccoli on it my daughter and I recently um, on my way out to a show she's like can I make mac and cheese I'm like yes but mac and cheese is not a dinner you have to like have other stuff with it so we had some broccoli so as she boiled the pasta on the stove top we put the mac the broccoli on the top and so the boiling of the of that steamed the broccoli so then when it came out she just picked the broccoli up off the strainer or the steamer that steamer lifts right up which is great but you may be thinking well now how's she gonna drain the pasta well the lid has a lip in it so that you can drain the pasta off too and you can also see that there's a picture with the lid sitting right there in the groove and that so you know when you're making like a big pot of chili or soup or stew and you're like where did I put the lid and the condensation is going to go all everywhere it sits in the lid so the condensation runs right off into the pot so then it doesn't get all over your counters. So that's one cool thing about the multi-pot. And then next over is our double burner grill pan. So you guys saw the size of my 14 year old. He's not getting any smaller. So when I go to Kroger once a week, I usually buy the package of chicken that's about this big. It's about five pounds, you know, $10. When you get there, it's $1.89 on, uh, on the special or whatever. So I get five pounds of it and I'm gonna show you all how to fillet it with the closing cut and then grill it. But what I do is I grill it on the double burner grill pan because I can do half Mexican and half like savory, like um, like a uh, the crushed pepper corn and garlic is my favorite one to do that way. That way I have two different kinds of protein or two different flavors of chicken done. And when they come in from school, what's the first thing they usually say when they come in from school? I'm hungry. <laughs> so, and we know we don't want a hangry child, right? Because then they don't want to do homework, they don't want to do chores, they don't want to do nothing. So um, uh, that allows them to make like a chicken quesadilla or put chicken on a salad. Or then if I have to do quick dinner because we got to turn around and go somewhere, I can throw it in something else I'm already doing and that way it's done. But I tend to cook like on Mondays because that's kind of like my day off. Um, and uh, I remember as a kid, my mom used to power cook on Sundays. She'd get everything, you know, mostly ready for the week. And then when we, then it was easier when she came home from work to kind of divvy it out. So I love the double burner grill pan. I will tell you this is being discontinued and um, they are going to restyle it um, to kind of match the new cookware, but um, it is reduced cost right now. So right now the double burner grill pan is $161. i am going to pass this around and it is still a lifetime guarantee. So it's nice that they, um, they're trying to discount it to get it out of the warehouse, I think, faster. So I love this pan. And if you guys want to see it, I'll pull it out of the cabinet since we're in my kitchen today. Um, but I love being able to do all that. And Or if you want to do something like where you've got like salmon fillets on one side and asparagus on the other. Or um, I've done a whole pound of bacon in it and I actually put it all in the oven. So then I don't have the grease all over the top up here. I just cook it all in the oven. So I really like that double burner grill pan. All right, flip over one more to 10 and 11, and we're going to talk about the Rock Crock collection. Does anybody have a Rock Crock? You got one? Awesome. You got one? What do you use your Rock Crock for? Nothing? Okay, is it in the box? Mm, I've okay. used it. You've used it? Okay. Probably three or four times three or four. Right when I got it. Okay. Like in the very beginning when yeah. it came out. Yeah. 
And I, I don't really even cook that much. Of okay. It, My husband does. And okay, good. A, um, cast iron skillet. Okay. And a grill pan. There you go. Okay, no problem there. I probably should pass it down to my kids. That's a good idea. Yeah. So this is an example of the grill pan. This is the large round grill stone that you see kind of in the middle there. And what's um, unique about this coating is it's a ceramic coating that makes it safe up to 752 degrees. Please tell me you're not cooking at that temperature. We need to call the fire department if you are. Okay, but what makes this really nice is because of this coating, it's got the clay inside, like a stone, but it's got this nice ceramic coating. It makes it safe in six places. You see there on the bottom, it shows you the stove top, the oven, the broiler, goes in the microwave, goes out on the grill, and then gets put in the dishwasher. So that's a nice, easy way to clean it up. So the other night, um, I did a show on Friday night and we made chicken bruschetta pasta. Elizabeth probably showed you guys how to make that one because that was one of the ones that I know she made quite a bit. She actually taught me all my skills on my grill pan too. Um, but with the um, rock crock, what I, what one easy way to do this is um, if I'm making a whole box of pasta, I'll put the whole box in here and a whole carton of broth that comes out to like two and a half cans, but the carton's usually easier to just pour that in there. Put this in the microwave, and if I, I was doing bow tie the other night. So I did bow tie, eight minutes, stir, and another eight minutes, and then I added whatever I was adding. And the, the um, thing was, is when you cook it in the broth, it adds more flavor to the pasta. Same thing with like potatoes, rice, all that starchy stuff I do in broth. Um, but I love that I can just put this in the microwave, then I added some grilled chicken, I added a bruschetta sauce. When it was done, we put it all in the dishwasher. So it's a great thing. And when I thought that they could not possibly think of another place to put this rock crock, they came up with the stand. You guys see the stand right there? So they turned our rock crock into a slow cooker. Hmm. So I've actually donated our crock pot because I don't need that anymore because I got this. Because I can braise my meat in here and then put it right into the, the slow cooker stand and then I can do my pot roast or whatever I'm doing. Did you guys ever try to make a pot roast? You're supposed to like brown it on the sides and you're doing that on the stove top and then you're supposed to move it. Yeah, I tried to do that as a new bride. I made a mess. So I was like, well, I tried, never doing that again. Now I don't have an excuse. I can do that in this, braise the meat, and then put it over there. One of my other favorite dishes to do in this slow cooker is just take some chicken like we have today and a jar or two of salsa and just put it in the rock crock, let it sit for a couple hours, and we call it salsa chicken. I know that's really, you know, self-explanatory there. And then we, well, you would do it in the oven? Yeah. Yeah, and you just, just bake it like that. Yeah, you just bake it like chop. that, chop it up, and yeah. then you can use it for tacos mm -hmm. or nachos. And then when it's left, it's got a lot of juices, then I add some more broth to it, a can of corn, a can of beans, mm -hmm. and then it becomes chili. Mm -hmm. So we like to cook once and serve twice, right? Or at least three times. So that's why I love the versatility of this rock crop collection right here. Now when you flip over two more, um, you're going to see our, our basic stone. So I know I've got some stoners in the room, right? So what have y'all, what have you ladies cooked on your stoneware? Everything. Mm -hmm. Everything, right? So you can do chicken nuggets, you can do french fries, you can do roasted vegetables, you can do reheating a pizza, you can um, make your cookies, you can make, what else? You got any other things that you do on a normal normal basis, everyday basis? I love that I can put a, a, another pound of bacon right here. Pound of bacon, we like bacon. Put a pound of bacon in here, 400 degrees, 20 minutes, perfect bacon. So, although that one that just left, he likes his chewy. So I have to pull a few pieces out because my daughter and I like ours crispy. And then we save the bacon juice, you, or the bacon grease. Did you guys ever? Bacon juice. Oh, the bacon juice. I'm sorry, yes. So we were always taught you poured it in a coffee cup, you put the coffee cup in the refrigerator. Uh, my husband has a bacon keep, a bacon grease holder. Really? Like they have like a legit one? It's big? stainless steel. Oh. It's like this and it has a lid. You know, Mark's real country. Yes, so. yes. Because when you fry an egg, you got to put some in there. When you make some green beans, you got to put some in there. That's just how we roll. So um, I love our flat stones. If you've never been stoned before, most people start out with the large bar or the large round stone, are the two most popular. The whole reason I joined Pamper Chef was for that large round stone right there. Mm -hmm. All right, because remember the rings and the, you had to like crescent rolls and you put them out in a circle and everybody's like, ooh and ah. So with your stoneware, because I've recently had a discussion about a broken stone, is you want to make sure that you cover 80 to 90% of the surface with food. All right, so that was something that I didn't learn until recently, is that, you know, somebody would put like one chicken nugget on the mm -hmm. middle here, and then they'd say, oh, I broke my stone. Well, there's not enough food on there. You gotta put more food on there. And then um, one thing we never put on stoneware is what? 
Frozen. So, or, and then frozen, yes, you gotta be careful with frozen. But soap, we don't need to wash it with soap. Um, you're gonna use one of the little brown scrapers that come with the stone and some hot water, and you're gonna be able to clean anything that's on there. The more you use it, the more nonstick it becomes. So get some of those break apart cookies and bake some cookies on there. That's a great way to season a brand new stone. So they do look kind of rough, and they look light when you first get them. And then the more you use them, the more... <laughs> What yours looks black. black. <laughs> that is a well loved stone. And this is a good time to point out the warranty. There's a three year warranty on stoneware. Um, when the kids were little, I was walking down to the end of the street to take um, a cookie, like a bar cookie in the large bar pan to the picnic. And I dropped the stone right on the asphalt. And so my brother-in-law was here. He came out to help me. He's like, I'm really sorry about your cookie. I'm like, I don't care about the cookie. Look at my stone. He just wanted to me to season that stone. <laughs> so he's like, don't they replace that? Yes, but, but they don't season it they for you. They don't season it for you. You have to start over. So if you'll notice where it says the item number and the price right beside it is the warranty in those little teeny circles. The three is the three-year warranty. Everything has at least a one. Um, there's twos, threes, fives, and L's throughout the catalog. L's is the lifetime. And that's what we're getting up to right now with the cookware on the next, I'm sorry, with the uh, cutlery on the next page. So uh, about a year ago, Pamper Chef redesigned our forged cutlery. It was time for a little redesign. Um, our previous cutlery was about 10 years old. And so a couple of things they changed is the bowl string is now angled, which gives you a little bit easier grip when you're using um, these knives. And um, the bowl string is that extra metal right there, which makes your knife very even in your hand. Um, they also used a different coating on the handle. I can't remember if it's called um, pack of wood or something. I can't remember what, that, uh, what they changed the wood to. But it is still a full tang knife, which goes all the way through. It's one piece of metal, so you'll never break it where you put a lot of pressure right there. Um, also, each of the knives come with their own little cases so that if you need to store them in a cabinet, um, they're safe, you know, in the cabinet from little hands. Um, I do suggest the knife block so you can store them all in your knife block like that. A great way to get the entire set of knives is to host your own party and get the whole knife block for half price or free. Um, and this month, actually, because it is August and they're having a um, sale on stainless things for our hostesses, you could get the whole knife block for 60% off. Um, and I think it comes down to like $20 a knife when you do it that way. So on the next page, you're going to see the same six shape knives, but in the color coded. So when it comes to um, our color coded knives, here is our chef's knife in the color coded. Now these are actually metal. Some people have asked if they are plastic or nylon, but they are metal. So this is a stamped knife where this is a forged knife. So what they do on a stamp knife is they roll the metal out, they cut the, cut the shape, and then they put the handle on. And so there's not a lot in the manufacturing process behind that. However, with a forged knife, they heat and hammer it over and over and over again. Think of like when swords are made, when you saw like maybe Game of Thrones or you know Robin Hood movies. Um, so they, they heat and hammer it over and over again. So there's a much different manufacturing process that goes along with forged knives than go along with a stamped knife but I absolutely love them all. I do suggest any knife you have to wash them and dry them because water will oxidize them. Um, previously, Farm Fresh sharpened for free, so I haven't tried Kroger yet to ask them, but um, if you need knife sharpened, say you have a previous Paper Chef knife or a knife that you just love, because the most dangerous knife in your kitchen is a dull knife. So you wanna make sure your knives are sharp. Um, there's a little guy named Max the Knife. He comes to the farmer's market in Virginia Beach and the one in Ocean View. Have you seen him? And he's right by the, he usually sits up by the creamery. Yeah. So you can go and get an ice cream while he sharpens your knives. Mm -hmm. And he does it like a dollar an inch. So last time I took like five knives and he did it charged me 35 bucks. And they were done. And they were good for like three years. Mm -hmm. So um, you don't need to sharpen a knife every time you use it. That long pole thing that you see people use, that's a honing tool. People think they are sharpening knives that way. They're not. They are just putting them back into alignment. Um, imagine, um, because I have a left-handed person, my husband's lefty, he does a lot of cooking more so than I do. He puts different pressure on a knife using his left than I do with my right. So the knife comes out of alignment, and this is in backwards. And so um, every now and then I run my knife through the honing tool, which is the stapler looking thing that's on the forge page. And so I run my knife through there um, if I need to uh, bring it back into alignment. And then for the color-coded knives, they sell a multi-sharpening um, tool to hone that, and it also sharpens the food chopper. So if you have a food chopper that you need to um, get uh, sharpened up, it does that. It does the kitchen shears, and it also does the manual food processor. So it's a great little tool. I'll just have to find what page number it's on because I um, don't have that one memorized. But let's skip over to my boyfriend, um, and we're gonna talk about 
Manuel. Oh, Manuel, yes, he's in the dishwasher still, but we're going to get him out, out in a minute. Uh, Manuel is on page 25, so he's doing some broccoli there. Um, that's a good way to hide vegetables from your um, offspring or yourself, depending on what you do or do not like. I don't like chunky tomatoes, so I put like diced tomatoes in Manuel and pulse it a couple more times because I like them a little bit finer than they come in the, the can. Uh, but I love Manuel, um, and we're going to use that to do some of our uh, nachos that we've got today. I also love the closing, I'm sorry, not the closing cut, the quick slice that's on the top. You see them doing a, I think that's a cucumber right there. I love that it is like, do you guys remember the egg slicer plus? We've had that forever and ever. It's like that on steroids. So you know the egg slicer is a wire that goes back and forth that you would do your strawberries or your hard boiled eggs. These are like their little metal knives that they are spaced evenly. So if you do like um, a lobe of a bell pepper or you do um, like three or four strawberries or two or three hard boiled eggs, everything is the same size every time. What I really like to do is a t beautiful vine tomato and a big bowl of mozzarella and make a caprese salad and then put some you know fresh basil and um, a vinaigrette on top. Oh, there's that sharpening tool I was just talking about. It's on the bottom of um, the page of the chopper, which is 25. See how it's sharpening all the different things down there? So that's a way you can do your color-coded knives and those other tools that you may already have at home, because I know a lot of you probably already have the chopper or the salad shears, uh, I'm sorry, the um, kitchen shears. We are also gonna be using um, the veggie spiralizer today. So if you are trying to cut carbs out, one way to do that is to use zucchini instead of uh, in lieu of pasta. And so you can see right here, they're using a zucchini right there and they are have it on the fettuccine setting. I had mine with um, spaghetti sauce last Isn't time. Isn't it just, everybody else had the pasta yes, so and you really can't taste the difference, can you? Zucchini takes on the flavor. I'm telling you, I believe me. I, mean, I can taste the difference. I can taste the difference, but, but I love zucchini. I okay, too. zucchini. The very first time I ever saw zucchini, like that was in a recipe. What, do you have you guys ever had the really old two bean chicken chili? The one I was kind of with the salsa and the broth and all that. The recipe calls for zucchini sliced zucchini. And the first time I saw my upline make it, we were at a meeting, we were tasting it, and it was like pickles floating in the top of the thing. And I was like, I'm not eating that. And the one girl sitting beside me was like, why not? I'm like, I don't know what that is. I'm not eating those. She says, it's zucchini. It takes on the flavor of whatever it's made in. Made in. And I was like, you're lying. So she's like, stop eating with your eyes and taste it. So I tasted it. I'm like, oh, you really can't taste it. And she's like, see? So now that's why when you put it with spaghetti sauce, it really just takes on the flavor. I've done another one where you do, um, I've steamed broccoli, added grilled chicken, and Alfredo, because Alfredo actually is low in carbs if you're trying to do the keto oh, kind yeah. of thing. That, and that is really good with the zucchini and all that mixed together. Um, zucchini does have more moisture in it. So depending on, like, did you notice yours was a little bit watery yeah. when you're using it with regular sauce? You just gotta know that going into it. Um, but a really easy thing is to do a couple zucchinis, throw them here in the rock crop, open your favorite sauce, pour that in there, because I don't make that some See, scratch. I um, saute mine first in olive do oil you? and yeah. garlic. And then I drain the water and then I put, put the sauce. Sauce. Good idea. Yeah. So if you, um, that's a great way to do it if you have a little bit of time. If you're just trying to get out the door, put the zucchini in there, put the sauce in there, pop it in the microwave, eight minutes, you're done. And then there are times I've added like already done protein, like the meatballs that are already done or sausage that is already done, and that's a quick and easy dinner. So we're going to do a bell pepper with it today. So we won't need the little teeth that go in there. This is the fettuccine side. This is the spaghetti side. Um, I tend to use the fettuccine side more because when I use the spaghetti side, it like makes the zucchini kind of mush. So it's just so thin. I like this side better. Um, and that would just slide right in this little keyhole right here. But what we're going to do today is we're just going to put the bell pepper on here. And as we turn it, it's going to come out right there in one long ribbon. So it's going to be fun for you guys to sit. And even you can do it too because it's so easy. My kids fight over who gets to do it because it's so easy to do. Nobody in my family fights over doing it. No. <laughs> That's a trick. So next up is our breakfast combos. So if you need quick breakfast ideas, there are some for you there. Um, especially, you know, little people like warm breakfasts, but we don't have the time to make pancakes every morning. So the pancake blender bottle is an excellent choice. The um, breakfast, um, the ceramic egg cooker is an excellent choice. One thing that we just kind of added this summer, which is the flyer that's in the middle of your catalog, is the breakfast sandwich maker. So they took it a step further. So same thing, it's a ceramic um, container, just like the one there. You put your egg or two down yes. here, then you would microwave that for about a minute, then you'd put this little guy in there and put like, say your pre-cooked meat, or if you want to do spinach or red pepper or whatever, put that in there. 
And then on the top little guy, you'd put like your English muffin or your tortilla or whatever you want to do and then pop it back in the microwave for like 30 seconds. So that little flyer you can um, take home with you with your catalog too because it gives you some ideas. Have you used the egg cooker one? Oh yeah, I use it all, we use it all the time. I bought it last time but I just... You didn't use it yet? Forgot I had it. Forgot you had it. So now you gotta go home. Yeah, we, my daughter time. loves it. So do you it. like eggs, Hannah? Hannah, Haley. 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 Haley, you like eggs? So what she does is she takes one or two eggs, she scrambles it with a fork in there, she adds a little bit of cheese and salt and pepper because that's what she likes. She puts the lid on it and she puts it in the microwave for 90 seconds. Okay. It's like a little scrambled egg. Now, I like mine um, with like red pepper. Yeah, and... see, I used to pre-make them in the brownie. Yeah, you can do that same thing and then take them out as you need them. Yeah, but... If you, if what I do suggest too is right after you take the egg out, put some water in there because egg is kind of sticky. So I would put some water in there and let it sit. It work with me. Just leave it at work. Yeah, you could definitely leave it at work. So I have a friend that was telling me on Friday night she does this for her little boy who's five because if you're standing at the stove top and then your kid needs you to tie their shoes and needs to get their backpack, you end up burning the egg that you're doing this with, right? But if it's in the microwave, it can sit there for a minute and it'll be all right if your ADD kicks in and you need to go somewhere. So, um, excuse Kenobi as he talks to us. <laughs> um, but I love that um, little guy. And the other thing that you have on your flyer is um, the snack bar maker. So you've got, um, my daughter's best friend has a nut allergy, is gluten free like and lactose, is. yes. So whenever she comes over, we have to look at packages and make sure. But now with this, if we pre-make or you know make a bunch of a variety of things, I can make sure I make them without something that she can eat. So one of my favorite things to do right now, which is something she can't eat, but my kids like it, is I take chocolate graham crackers and break them up. And then I take chocolate with a little bit of peppermint essential oil and melt the chocolate and then pour them in there. And they're like Girl Scout cookie thin mints. Mm -hmm. They're really good. And so this that recipe just sets up in the fridge. And then when it comes out, as I do this, they kind of peel back. This is silicone. This you can bake in there. So there is no bake and there is bake, like granola bar recipes. You could use yogurt. Um, there's so many different uh, recipes. I've got a whole file I can send you of recipe ideas to go along with this. So um, like if you had somebody who didn't like a nuts, you could do nuts on some and not on the other. It's pretty cool. So I like that little guy there. Yeah. The, um, I, had a, I had a pampered chef bridal party. Nice. I have so much stuff you would not believe. Yeah, flip the 37 is what she's talking oh about. Gosh. So the cool and serve, I you can see all your burger. For a burger, like a burger salad. Yes. So what we do is um, not only do we use it for things like that, but you know a salad always tastes better when somebody else makes it for you? Yes, or you does. go to the salad bar and you put it together right there at the salad bar. So what my daughter and I will do is get all of our veggies ready. So we usually do one wall of carrots one of red pepper, one of broccoli, and then one of cucumber. And then during the week when somebody wants a salad bar, they just pull the whole thing out of the fridge, puts mm -hmm. together their salad, and then puts it back in the fridge. So it's, um, you know, it's easier to grab things on the go when they're already ready for you. So she does do her salad in a jar. That's another, what page is that one on? I can't remember where I saw it in the jar at the beginning. Is that the beginning? Oh yeah, it was on page 30. So she does take that at, um, you know, fourth and fifth grade, she was taking that as her lunch. Um, because of the little friend who couldn't eat peanut butter and jelly. And um, so Mia was trying to copy her and was taking our salads in the salad in a jar set. So next up is our sweet treats and frozen things. So I'm really loving the um, Quixicle maker. Do you remember when we were kids and you'd make um, popsicles and it would take like four hours and you would forget and then like, you know, whatever. So with this guy, you make them and it takes eight minutes to freeze them because you leave this thing in the freezer. You take it out, you pour your liquid in, and then you've got your popsicles. And I have extra, it comes with six sticks and then I have the accessory set, so I have nine sticks that I can just keep making them and making them and usually they've finished a batch before and then I've got another batch and then I can actually put some in the freezer for when they want them as well. So that is a really fun tool um, to have. And then again, you can control what's in there. So whether you wanna do juices or fruits, um, I've tried sweet tea, the kids have done Gatorade and lemonade. I have tried a margarita. You can make a margarita pop, just saying. And then you've got your kids section, if you guys want to visit that. And then baking, which I don't do a lot of baking this time of year because it's hot. 
but on page 53 is where the index is, and that is where all every item in the catalog is picture, uh, is in 53. There are some items that are not pictured in the catalog, but we still sell. You'll see that's with a red diamond, so you'll be able to see that stuff in the back there. Um, and all of our spices are only in the back, so the spice we're using today is the Jamaican jerk, okay, and that is on page 58. So that is where a lot of those seasonings um, that I referenced earlier when we were doing the grill section, they're all back there. So now that we've gotten um, a quick overview of some of the major collections, some of my favorites, we are going to put the recipe together as a group so that we can um, get our hands on these products and you guys can have a little fun. So uh, Elizabeth would never let you do that because know. You know, she's like, this is mine and you cannot touch it. So you can leave your catalog where it is. She thought I was crazy when I started doing station style. And um, we are going to have three sections. So section station number one is going to be the grill it like a girl station. So I'm going to show you how to fillet our chicken breast using our frozen cut and get it on the grill like a girl because you know it's hot and cold and muggy and buggy and all that out there. So we're going to do it right here. Station number two, you're going to use our veggie spiralizer and spiralize our pepper. Um, you're going to get our lime ready to go. And then we are going to do station three. It's really hard. You have to open these chips and make a that's layer. Okay, and you're going to grate some cheese. <laughs> that's okay, so that's, this is the really hard station. I hate this part. So you can oh, leave your catalog at your seat. I have hand sanitizer that you can use. You can use the kitchen sink. I have soap and water over there too. But don't be shy because the faster we cook, the faster we get to eat. All right, so come on up. And get up, Joey. Yep, yeah, we can. You can help too. Mm -hmm. Nothing is too sharp. That that um, you know, that little supervision, you'll be fine. Even so the chicken. You know the um, collapsible serving bowls. Yes, the green and white ones. Only the one size in there. Yeah. All the ones are gone. Yeah. What size is that? Because I have the little, the medium, and then the big. And my daughter wants one. And they were two, four, six, I think. Okay, so that's um, four. So that's the middle one. Okay. And I, I have them all in my cabinet. We can look at them, too. Okay. All right, here's the directions. Oh, my gosh. I've done scared yes. the crap out of me. Yes. That is You'll hilarious. <laughs> look. look. That dog's like, hello, it is hot out here. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting there washing my hands, and I looked up, and I I was totally like, forgot to tell you he was out there. I was like, well, he's he's my so ugly, he's cute. Oh, no, he was like, y'all, you're ready to cook? <laughs> he would be like, all over you guys right, right now. There, so. like, that's why we can't do that. Maybe leave him out I was there. looking towards the grass. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, he, the, the first line? time he did oh, that, I was like, I feel somebody is staring at me. Well, that would be. Someone right. else can do spiralize. I know how to Here, do that. Here, you're gonna put, put the gonna put the lime juice in there. So it's oh, come on, the lime juice. I didn't wait to do that. Yes, and then you'll use that. Just put that in there, and then we'll add the pepper to it after. Okay. So just do about half the chips, because then we're gonna do layers. Okay. And in the meantime, we put the cheese in the fridge. Elizabeth, yeah. Because I asked how good it was for me. Check this out. There you go for your cheeses. No, 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 no. All right. You want like half a bow? Yeah. You know, there are four C's I never measure. Chicken, chocolate, cheese, and calories. So the more cheese, always the better. Um, I a lot of times use these guys. Yeah. All right, you guys want to this? Okay, you're going to grill. So what we do first is you're going to turn the um, grill pan on. We want the press to get hot in there. Right, right now the handle is not hot, but it does. Oh, it's mama's. It's all people have been chef nice. Did you take Yeah, I did. Well, I told you guys. That's crazy. I said, you need to say something. And so this is like, you know, nice standard package. I said that too. And then what I do is I take this and I put it in the I just put my palm right here so I've got some pressure on it. 
And now these are a little frozen, so it is a little bit harder than it would be if it wasn't. And then you play your chicken breast just like that. Crap oh. out of the freezer. So they cook better. Yes, with the pomegranate. Yeah, yeah, you gotta turn it around. Yeah, turn it around. You're gonna yeah. 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 So this, uh -huh. they will cook faster okay. when they're thinner. And then also because when they're so thick, they just fall out before they cook. So this will prevent that. Or burn. Yes, or burn. I don't know. It doesn't seem natural, but it's the way it's supposed to be. What? The way you turn the lime around. And yes, so you do it this way. I don't know why, but. Here, where's the other half? Because you're you're say, the okay, so you do it this way, and then it, then it pushes fat. it inside out. Because if not, you're gonna give yourself a lime facial. Did you get any in your eye? No, just got okay. on my arm. On your arm, okay. And this smarty pants over there. See, if you'd have done this, I wouldn't have had this problem. Yeah. I could just squeeze the lime for you. There you go, see how it basically turns it inside yeah. out? There you go. Awesome. All right, so then with the pepper, tonight you gonna do the pepper? Yeah. Alright, so cut it like right there. I'm watching. Well, that's what I want to do. Oh, you can be the bossy person and read from there and tell them what they need to do. Oh, she has no problem. Alright, so down. then I take my mother. scoop loop what to do? and I clean it up. Oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah, so this is like a piece of nylon. Oh, Okay, and so you can clean it up. So if you like, um, like stuffed peppers, this is great for stuffed peppers, great for cantaloupe. I'm um, getting all the seeds out of cantaloupe. I use it for cucumbers. Yeah, there's a lot of peppers. Yeah. I like stuffed peppers. I just don't like the pepper. Yeah, so you eat the stuff in the stuffed pepper. It makes it a good flavor. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so then when you're going to use the spiralizer, you're going to lift this up, put that on, on top of that point. Just do the hollow. It's not going to do anything. And then there's teeth up here. We're going to put the teeth right in there. Oh, okay, so then the stuff, you, the stuff is going to come right there. Look at that, All right, now start spiralizing. There you go. Look, look. look. Beautiful. Ooh. That's easy. Ooh. Isn't it? No, 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 we're going to do We're going to more chicken. So we're going to have the chicken and stuff on there, too. I've only done sweet potatoes and zucchini. Yeah, that's good. What yeah. do you do with sweet potatoes? Huh? Huh? I mean, I get what you do. You but what, okay. just, it's just a different. different. So I'll take, I just clip that part off and put it in the lime juice. That's it. That's as far as it'll go. Yeah, so then you'll have a little piece left over. You can eat that part if you want. Or I actually, I usually have another tool out here for you to try. So hold on, I'm on that. We're gonna put a little bit of. Um, I didn't. This is a brand new container. So we're gonna put a little of our Jamaican jerk in there that has our lime juice. All right, so you can grab a scraper and kind of stir that up a bit. And then we're gonna come over to the next because we're gonna use oh, our um, Jamaican jerk here in a second. That. You're gonna stir it. See, she's helping. You know that little commercial on I helped. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, Jamaican oh, jerk. Now see how much juice we have from the pepper? Look at that. Yeah, have peppers are so so milk. much juicier than you think. That's why I probably really like the flavor. Probably. Yeah, because you like that. I like the flavor. There. I don't know why. We actually yeah. make fajitas and we had to buy Adam peppers. You ended up with a oh. Her son was never. <laughs> we don't like onions either. Never had an onion until we went to college. Oh my goodness. Now we with never. cilantro, I rinsed this off. You didn't and you wash. can take, so you can just get rid of the stem, but you can keep what's in between the first and second leaf. You can use all of that. So I take all of this. That one got away from me. All right. And we're going to leave the ball down there. You put this in there. I think you did last time. Because it was so cool, but then I couldn't remember how to use it. There you go. <laughs> now grate some in there. So the ball's going to push it. That's why you just do that. Oh, okay. That's right. That's cilantro, right? Yep. Um, you can, we're going to use it all. So do half in there, and they'll put half on top when it comes out. How about that? Okay. All right, you good over there? All right, so then what we do is then I just take these out of your way. I've been to the gym now. Okay, because this is frozen. Yeah, a little frozen. All right, so then what we're going to do is we'll make a one little layer. Oh, this is pretty frozen. All right, we'll see how it does. We're pampered, not perfect. It's all right. All right, so then you're going to take this. You want to be our helper? Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle all over that chicken. There's no measurement here. We just want it kind of covered. Don't touch it to the chicken. Yeah, there you go. All right, we're going to throw this beat down just a little bit. Some salsa with dark tomatoes. Yeah, keep going. We want it kind of covered so you can see it. There you go, girl. All right, beautiful chips, cheese. All right, excellent. Oh. All right, so I'm going to get another tool out for you guys to play with this in a second. No. I don't need our Marcos. That's too much like that. What's that? What? I don't even go to really truly make salsa. I buy the mix. I use tomatoes though. There you go. From our garden. Beautiful. Okay, yeah. so this is what we're gonna do next. 
But I, I use my microgrip. This is actually for the microwave, but I like work. I'm just going to pick this up. But it's not bad. This is very hot. You see the steam? I'm going to set that right there. And then I'm going to take the There's a mix called. And put it seasoning side down. Because then I'm going to let you see the other side. This is okay with you being over the pan. It's not too hot. No. This is all fine. Can you smell all that and make sure? It's in the Mexican section. It's the Mexican section. All right. So now you can sprinkle over there. Don't put your arm on the pan. Yeah. There you go, girl. There you go. Look at that. You're so never too when she comes. Yes. Beautiful. Kathy thought she was funny. She said, so any of the rubs, when I do any of the rubs, like that, then I'm going to pick this up. Yeah. So that's a rub. This is the way down. Yeah. There you go. That's beautiful. That's the same one. That's not, I don't know what mine is, but my Kathy is a little Kathy. All right. It's all in the wrist section. All right. Let me just leave it right there. We're good. And it has all the salon. All right. So you guys can have a you, you can oh, have a seat. It's going to be a minute while that cooks a little frozen. And we'll just get all the, yeah, we'll just put them right in the sink. It tastes nasty. It's a mix. Yeah, we'll just put that yeah, right in the with that. Excellent. Okay, so while our chicken is cooking, I'm going to get out the one other tool because it was right underneath where the girls were sitting. Let me show you. How is it? So this is called the quick cut quick slice, quick slice. And I take the leftover pepper, because I don't want to waste it, right? So take the leftover pepper. You want to do this with me? All right, so you're going to kind of rock it a little bit before we push it all the way down. All right, so rock it just a little bit. Put both your hands on there. All right, now push all the way down. Just like that. Isn't that beautiful? So you got nice, this is how we do the peppers for the salad. When we do our salad in, um, in a jar or a salad bar in the fridge, you got one more little piece. Where's the stylized pepper rod? Right in there. In there. Oh. So rock it back and forth. There you go. Line it up. There you go. You're a pro. Excellent. So this is going to be the topping. We're going to put this on top of the nachos when it comes out. So it's just a pepper, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of lime juice, um, some more of a Jamaican jerk rub. And so there's what that is. So I love, these are called the silicone prep bowls. So there are three sizes. I've misplaced my one cup. I think somebody is enjoying it at their house. Um, they do have a, I'm pampered not perfect, so I leave things behind. Um, but they do come with lids too, so that if you wanted to prep something and put it in the fridge, you can. Um, also great for melting chocolate, because I can squeeze it and then fill. Like I tried to like do candy molds once. 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 And so this is what I did with the candy molds. Because I tried the like double boiler thing. I wasn't so good at that. So this is the one way I did it. So. Um, we're gonna let the chicken cook. So the way you tell the chicken is ready to flip is one, I can kind of see it's turning white around the outside there. But if you try to pick this up, it's very suctioned down. That was something Elizabeth taught me, is that this is very suctioned. So when it is suctioned, it's not ready to flip. When it releases easier, that's when you flip. Um, you also know when your grill pan is ready, um, Elizabeth 101 taught me this, that when you put, you put the temperature up high, when you're getting it hot, then when you're done, you do your chicken, and if you can feel the heat right here, that's when you put the, ch the, the chicken on. If you can fill it up here, it's too hot. You need to let it cool because you're going to scorch it. If you have to touch it, it's not hot enough. All right, so then once the chicken gets on, you see I kind of moved it like to the middle. My burner, this burner, runs hot. This is my like, power burner or whatever it is. So I've learned about this burner in my house, so you just got to kind of know your burners. Um, you'll notice I have a flat top. Um, a lot of times people ask me if they can use this cookware on gas. Yes. And if you have a coil, like... I guess an older version. It works on electric coil stove too. So yeah, all of that. Mm -hmm. So we'll let that cook for a minute. And because uh, that was frozen, so we're getting it all cooked through. Yeah. So let me tell you a little bit about what Jeanette is going to get out of having us all here today. And so when Jeanette and I were talking about booking a show, because she was like probably one of my first 100 hosts when I started 15 years ago. Um, my anniversary was actually just with the pamper chef. And so when we were talking about um, booking this, she's like, can I just have it at your house? I'm like, absolutely. That's I'll great. For you. Yeah, it's a lot. I don't have to pack anything. I just start thing in the sink. The kids are going to load it later. I mean, it's fabulous. So here's what you're going to get out of having us all here today, is you're going to get free. That is my favorite four-letter F word that I can use on long little ears is free. So um, at the $1,000 level, she's going to get 215 in free stuff. That's a lot of free. And this just, just keeps going up, so the free can just keep building up as high as your sales go. Now, she um, picked the month of August 
because the free is actually 50% more free. So instead of $215 at the $1,000 level, you get $323 at free stuff. So she also gets up to five items half price. That's anything she wants in the catalog or the list on the back, those four combos. You can get one of those. Those are host-only combos. Uh, but all those individual items are sold in the catalog for you guys. Now you get up to 30% off anything else that she wants. So good time to stock up on Christmas gifts, you know, co-worker gifts, um, you know, whatever you need. I usually do more stuff like for the bus gifts. driver and for the teacher and all that kind of stuff. This is when I stock up. She's also going to earn her PhD today, which means her past host discount. You can call her Dr. Jeanette for the next year um, as she earns her PhD. Please, let's not inflate her head any bigger than it already is. So if she gets 10% off, it's connected to her um, email address. So whether she's shopping online or at a different party, she'll make sure she gets that 10% off. Okay. And then, um, yeah, you see who's uh, up there creeping? Um, she also gets our monthly special. And I'm going to have you grab those tongs right there. And they are gravity driven. So you see that pin? When you turn it this way, see how it doesn't come down? You have to squeeze it. All right, so are you comfortable with flipping? All right. So you're going to squeeze them and you're going to flip the chicken. So we can get the other side nice and pretty. Oh, yeah, look at that. There you go. There you go. I guess you do have to pull them up. Yeah, a little bit. It took me a while. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I'm Just like we've been outside. But we didn't have to get any bugs in our hair or, you know, it's up our nose. Beautiful. Beautiful. So then this is warm ish. Let's put it right back there like that. All right. So she gets her past house step. Now, the other thing she gets this month is um, for her host special, she's going to get one of these five items on this flyer at 60% off. So it is the tool turnabout that's right here um, with some three little tools that go with it, the stainless steel bowls, the 10 or 12 inch stainless steel cookware set, or the knife lock set. She gets one of those at 60% off on top of the 50% more. So you're double dipping this month with two specials. Um, coming up, we do have in the month of uh, September, is any one item you want in the entire new catalog that starts September 1 at 60% off. So there isn't even like a short list. It's everything you want, anything you want, one item. And then in October, they're going to put the rock crock on special in that silver stand we were talking about, along with our stainless steel item and another new item that's coming out September 1. So you can pick one of those. Now, Jeanette doesn't have to be sad. There are different things on special at other parties because she gets what's called the future party pick. As all of you book your own shows, um, she gets a half price item at your show, even if she's not there. So the other Jeanette with a G is not here today. So she gets a 50% off item because you this Jeanette booked off that Jeanette. So um, we'll make sure she orders her half price item. Now you all get me. Remember I told you to feel free to keep the catalog. Um, save me in your cell phone. Stalk me on Facebook. Um, because, like I said, you may forget um, my first name in six months, but you'll never forget Pamper Chef. And so when you get your stuff home, take it out of the box, Jeanette. Take it out of the box. And one, because you want to check it to make sure it's all good. And then two, so you start using it. So remember, like, if you need a recipe, just let me know. So when you host your own show, you're awake now, Janet. You're going to get all of these things when you host your own show. So it's really fun when you get everybody together because you get some food, you get some free, you get some friends and family. It's fun times. So that's why we like these parties. All right, so I'm going to turn this off and let it cool this up for a minute. And we're going to bring over my awesome salad choppers. You guys have these? Does anybody have these? I do. do you They're out of the box. They're out of the box. Do you use them? Yeah, when I remember, I, I have a lot. You use these a lot. <laughs> so you'll notice when I do the chicken, I use them backwards like I this. I use them for salad. I use them for yes, salad. they need to be called the chicken shredders because that's usually what I use them for is shredding oh, meat. Oh, yeah. Yes. All right, so in the catalog, you'll see them in a bowl of lettuce like this because they're going into, they're following the curve of the bowl to do a chopped salad, like a why not chopped salad. But I do this to, to chop my chicken or pork tenderloin or a butt or a shoulder or whatever. So again, I'm going to use my micro grip, use my tongs here. We're going to put a piece in here so you guys can see. So I just grab the chicken and, this, and I just start chopping. So if you do chicken salad, chicken nachos, chicken tacos, chicken on your salad, this is such an easy way to do your chicken. 
and it's fast and not having to use like two forks to shred it or you know whatever other way you do it. I usually just put them all in here. All right, and then I usually deglaze my pan a little bit. So I just take a cup of water and put a little water in here to deglaze it. Because remember, I'm usually taking this pan home, so it's like another hour after I've cooked with it. So my kids like it, appreciate it if I go ahead and do that. And then there is this little tool that's called the grill press scraper. So on this side, it has a picture of the pan. On this side, it has a picture of the press. So I usually just take the pan side, and then I just go like this when there's some water in there. And then that way, it doesn't stick, and it's a little bit easier to clean once it cools. Got that there. We'll grab our chicken here. Oh, let me hit the. Yes, Kenobi. He's like a toddler. He wants to know where everybody is. He just walks around going, Mom. But in, you know, cat version. And you know, the food's upstairs. He just doesn't want to go up there right now. Yeah. All right, so we salad chop our chicken. So this is why I buy that big pack of chicken. Uh, during the week and I season it in two different ways and then I put it in two different bowls like this so that I can have two different flavors. And my kids love it, just rolling it up in tortillas, put a little lettuce, put a little cheese, maybe add some ranch or Italian dressing, however their um, flavor is that day. And then I'm just kind of moving it around to make sure I didn't leave a big piece on the bottom because sometimes I do that. Yeah, there it is. I feel it. And you'll notice chicken gets stuck right here, so I usually just take my finger and do that. Um, these are dishwasher safe. However, if you do not clean them off before you put them, the chicken that's stuck in these two little flits right there will still be there. Um, they'll just be dishwashed. So I usually take this little brush and I clean it on both sides before I put it in the dishwasher. All right, let me dice that little piece that was left on the bottom there. And then this is how we make a mile high Jamaican jerk nacho. Okay, we've got some cheese on there, right? So let's take some of our... We got little tongs too. I guess I could have given you the little tongs. I'm sorry. All right, so we're gonna put some chicken on here like this. All right, spread it all around because who wants to get a nacho and not have any chicken and cheese on it, right? So then we do another layer. Oh. Chicken nacho pie. Yeah, like a nacho pie. Yeah. 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 Like a nacho pie. There you go. So you know, like Super Bowl or, I mean, football started, what, this weekend? Yeah. So yeah, so if you want to do, you know, nachos are a good football. Can you do some more cheese for me? Excellent. I know, it's lovely, I love it. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's not such a good idea. I'm gonna chop that one more chicken piece up. So we're, that's why I usually say I'm pampered, not perfect. But I forgot about that piece of chicken on there. And then we'll just throw some more on the sides here. But see, even with that being slightly frozen, oh, I guess my dog will get that letter. Yeah, kitty kitty might like it too. Kenobi! Is that a he? Yes, Kenobi is a he. There you go. <coughs> so even with being frozen, that didn't take that long. Yeah. Drew, not appropriate. So then, beautiful, look at that. And then we'll top it with this after it comes out. We don't want this to come, we're gonna leave that kind of like that. Oh, but what I'm gonna do first, we want to salad chop this, because we don't want one long thing of pepper. So I'm gonna salad chop my peppers. Because since the pepper was hollow, it will it comes out as one long piece. So then this is all in the juices there, and this will kind of function kind of like a salsa, but not like you know a tomato-y based salsa. I do like making a pineapple-based salsa with this recipe that is really good. So I'll make sure you guys get a copy of that recipe too. That looks beautiful. And then we're gonna pop it in the oven just long enough to make the cheese kind of melty. And then you guys are gonna be able to serve up with some salsa and all the other goodies. Now, do you um, know why I asked Jeanette to get block cheese? Did you guys? Bag cheese, yes. Yeah. So there is a substance on bag cheese called cellulose. 
that is the white powdery substance that you usually see on the cheddar the easiest. And what it, if you look up cellulose on the internet, it is a wood pulp or a sawdust that they put on your cheese because it's a preservative that helps keep the moisture from in there. Um, and so you'll notice the bag cheese is very loose. The difference when you cook with it. it melts better, oh, yeah. it tastes better, it lasts longer. When you buy a bag I did of cheese, learn that from Elizabeth. it is, oh, yeah. yes. When you buy a bag of cheese, it's done by volume. I think volume. that's the first thing when she meets you. That's the first thing she's doing. Stop buying bag brain. cheese. Yeah, yes, do not buy bag cheese. Your brain. Yes, because I was like, why do I need this cheese grater? And then I think it was I'm her. She's like, just take it out of the box well, and honestly, use it. Well, honestly, you just go ahead and grate it all at one yeah. time and just keep it in the fridge. Yep. Look beautiful. All right, so we're going to take this. Yeah, you can... And see, typically cheese loses its flavor about three days after it's been grated. However, we eat so much cheese that it's going to get eaten. Yeah. So like the other day, I made three pounds of taco meat, and we went ahead and shredded it all the cheese, put it in there in a baggie. So when they went to reheat the taco meat, they just sprinkled the cheese that was already done. Because we didn't have time to get two of these. Because if I take one to a show, nobody can have shredded cheese when I'm gone. <laughs> so that's a problem when we have Taco Tuesday on every day that ends in Y. Or if you have um, spaghetti night, you can't do your mozzarella. So the coarse one is going to be for your soft cheeses, your mozzarella, your Colby, your pepper jack, all that stuff. The fine grater is what I use for my Parmesan. So that's when it comes out like snow. Um, it's also great on nuts, for nuts, for chocolate. If you really want to like be Betty Crocker and put something on top like that, that's really fun. Ginger. Ginger is a good one. And zesting. And I use the, I don't even own the zester. I only use the, the fine microplane for that because it's a bigger surface area. Oh, yeah. I'll have you zesting. Yeah, so that's good. Okay, so while we're waiting on those nachos, um, you guys want to earn some freebies, right? Yes. Sure. Yes, you'd like some free stuff? Okay, so what we're going to do, I think I put it over here. Yes. Is I have three prizes. I have a white one, a yellow one, and a blue one. So to get you ladies, um, get these in your hot little hands, what you're going to do is um, you're going to be nosy and ask me a little bit about how I do Pamper Chef as a business. Um, I've been doing Pamper Chef for 15 years this week. And... Um, I've done it at all different levels. I've done it as a hobby, I've done it as a part-time gig, a full-time gig, now it's a career kind of thing. Um, if you have a catalog in your hand, you want to open to the very back spread. There is a, a spread back there about Pamper Chef that you can use that to um, help spark your mind with a question. But for every question you ask, you're going to get one of these cards. And um, the more cards you have, the more likely it is that you'll go home with one, two, or three prizes. So don't be shy, but don't be cutthroat either. So we'll try to do it. Look, look Kenobi, look. Look, Janice going to feed you. There you go. <laughs> All right. So who wants to be the first nosy person? Yes, ma'am. Uh, about how many days a week do you have to do or do Stuff? Yeah. So I usually try to do two shows a week. So like this week I had Friday and Sunday. Um, bit Office-wise, um, when I didn't have a team, I didn't really spend much time outside of my shows doing anything else. Um, I've had, I have a team of about 40 consultants now, so usually Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, especially during the school year, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, is when I spend a little bit more office time, um, and then I run errands and stuff on Tuesday, Thursday, but I'm like spending like 9 to 12, because I like to take a nap, so nap is important at 1 o'clock, don't call me, so, but yeah, a couple hours. What's your favorite product to demonstrate? Um, well, I'll tell you what my first product was, which is my favorite, which is, no lie, Pamper Chef kit was the first product I ever purchased. Um, I had a couple products before. I had the um, apple wedger that my mother had given me, and I didn't know that it even said Pamper Chef right there. I had no idea. And I had the spoon rest, which is somewhere shoved back here. Um, those were the first two products I had ever gotten. Here it is. And my mom had given them to me. I didn't know what Pamper Chef was. And then I went to a party and I bought the kit the very next day. So who else has a question? Don't be shy. Or we'll be waiting for our nachos forever. How much money do you make? Good question. <laughs> so um, a, a baseline that I use is um, the company average is $500 a show. 20% um, commission of that is $100. So you're gone for a couple hours, no pulls, no corners, and you make $100. <laughs> so that is kind of how I usually baseline it. Over time, as I built a team and my sales are a little higher than that, I'm usually like at the $200 a show. Um, two fifty, and then I say I, like my time is worth fifty dollars an hour is kind of what I base it on. What's your favorite pamper chef recipe? Well, what's really nice <laughs> is um, you like how she's like asking questions that are not business related, but I'm turning them into that. Um, what I like is pamper chef gives us recipes 
so I don't have to come up with these on my own because I'm not a very good cook. So like this recipe has been out forever and ever. I still love it, so I just keep it on my recipe list. Um, now it's getting ready to be a new season, so I have the new recipe book right now. So like we're going through and experimenting as a family. So we will, like the kids will tell me yay or nay if they like them. They, we can add them to our meal rotation. Um, but then I get to write off all those ingredients too because I'm using them in my business. What kind of other perks do you get, like trips? I know you've had Yeah, stuff. so besides the cash, the, the commission, um, I earn free product. Um, I can earn vacations with Pampered Chef. Um, there are um, monthly incentives for us as consultants to always um, earn um, stuff. Like right now, we're earning a coffee cup. Like, you know, I don't drink coffee, but I'm going to take a Pampered Chef coffee cup because I'll drink iced tea out of it. Um, we, um, the vacations is probably why I stay, earning the vacation every year. How many vacations have you been on? Good question. I have taken 10 Pampered Chef vacations. So um, we have been to San Francisco, San Diego, um, Austin, Toronto, Puchacana, Cabo, Riviera Maya, Disney World, Disneyland, and I'm missing one. I can't remember the 10th one. So every five years is Disney, which is really nice. So they just announced our 2020 trip, which is Disney. So my kids are super excited because on the Disney years, it's U plus three. And so that's when um, my kids will go. The other trips are U plus one, and I choose not to take them. I could buy them in, but I choose not to. <laughs> they can go spend the week with their grandma. There you go. Yes. Who else has got a question? Don't be shy. That's a great question. So what they would like you to do is every other month submit something. So life happens and sometimes you just don't get a show in that month. So um, you lose no benefit if you do it every other month. So the minimum is 150 in sales or one show, which is a minimum of 200. So that's really, really easy. I have some people that can do that all by themselves and support their own habit that way. Um, now, if you were to go more months in between, there are other things that happen, like you're considered not active, but it's not until you go six months without submitting that you're completely inactive and you like drop off. But they still let you come back. Yeah. So, it's nice that way. Don't be shy. I just thought of something that I can't remember. You just left you? What is your least favorite part of the job? Um, oh yeah. Least favorite part. Gosh, that's a hard one. Um, I mean, I don't love doing dishes, but who does? So I pawn them off to my children, and then I can pay them for that, and then write that off. So I, um, that's why, like, now that they're older, now like, when they were, like, little like this, I didn't, you know, force child labor on them. But now they're older, and they want more expensive things. Like, last night, I treated my kids to dinner, and my son's dish, just by himself, was $19.99. So, yeah, he's going to help me today and um, clean up. That's just how we roll. Yes. Do you have uh, regular meetings? Oh yeah, good question. So um, every, once a month we have a meeting and it's here. So actually this week it is Tuesday and it is our annual family meeting, which means you bring friends and family. Um, all the other meetings of the year are just for the consultant and if you have someone who's thinking about the business. But this is an opportunity that the kids get to see each other and the husbands can see each other. And um, But we just do it once a month physically here in my house. And I have consultants that don't live here, so we Zoom them in on my iPad or whatever. Um, and then throughout the month, I have an opportunity every Monday night, I call it happy half hour, and they zoom in with their favorite beverage, usually it's a glass <coughs> of water, and we just talk about whatever questions they have. So I tell them to keep a list of your questions, and then Monday night, just ask them. If they can't be on, we'll set aside another time. And then also we have something called um, Coffee Talk on Saturday mornings, that um, because people who work full time, they can catch these Saturday morning calls if they want to, and they're just on the phone, like listening. So they're like little 15 minute segments done by people all over the US. And that's not even company based, it's just something that some consultants put together. So everyone's very helpful. Who else has got a question? Did you already say how you got involved in camera? No, I didn't. So I went to my very first show in the neighborhood I grew up. I was like, Mom, what are you doing today? She's like, I'm going to a paper chef show. I'm like, what's that? And she's like, well, we're going to eat. And I'm like, oh, I'll be there. <laughs> so um, they also serve vodka sippers. That might have been part of the pool. Um, but I went to my very first show, they made a ring, and I was like, this is so good. I wanted to like duplicate it when I got home. Funny story, the recipe called for two cloves of garlic. I bought two bulbs. Did not know the difference between a clove and a bulb, so I learned that real quick. And um, 
I decided like the next day that what, what was holding me back? There's nothing really that I, there was not a legit excuse I could use from holding me back. And I'm like, and if it teaches me to cook, like that's a good benefit, right? And it has, because I am not a very good cook. And um, my kids will tell you that. They're unlike, okay, so tonight's um, bacon and eggs and tomorrow's cereal. So, I mean, yes, I have those times that I don't want to cook all the time. So, look at those nachos. And these are going to be piping hot, so we're going to let them cool right there for a second. All right, so who else has a question? Don't be shy. Yes. Did you say how much it costs to start? Oh, no, I didn't. So, on the very back spread of your catalog, there is the kit options. Um, there are three kits. One is 109, one is 159, and then they mashed the two of them together and threw in a grill pan for 249. Now I don't know about you, but like Sam's Club is a 249 trip for me because that's like toilet paper and paper towels and a couple things of food and you know, and I've spent 200 over 200 dollars. But what you get in that on the kits is the 109 is 400 plus dollars, the 159 is 600 plus dollars, and the 249 is a thousand dollars in product. So it really is awesome. Um, Pamper Chef has a very um, easy quota to meet when you become qualified. And then, but they're never gonna come and take your kit from you. So if you decide, hey, I tried it out, I don't love it, I'm gonna hang up my apron, the kit is yours. So, do you have a question? I can't think of anything. Can I give you a card? Does everybody have at least one card? You didn't ask a question. Come on, Janet. I have a question. Um, you want to know if all this product right here is mine? Yes. All this product yours? Yes, all this product is mine. So I either got it in my new consultant kit, and then over time I've added to it because I usually try to earn it for free. So twice a year when the new stuff comes out, they always give us consultants an opportunity to earn it for free. Um, so this year, because the new launch is so, um, there's a lot of stuff in the new launch, come September 1, they broke it up. We got to earn some in June and some in July. And so that's why you see all those boxes in my dining room is because a lot of the boxes have come in this week and I'm hiding them. Um, so that um, I can finish out August without trying to jump in them quite yet. But uh, we definitely, we also have the opportunity to, to shop at a discount too. That's what you asked, you asked about my discount. Yeah. Um, my discount, any given time a consultant can order at 20% off. Um, as a director, which is what my title is, um, you can order at 30% off. Once a year, we have what's called kit enhancement. Um, you can order at forty percent off. So, like, if say you know you've worn out your whatever, you can order them. Um, when the new stuff comes out, they discount it at half, so that we can buy whatever you didn't earn at half if you want to. And then, let's say Jeanette really didn't want to use her sixty percent off host special, and I really want what's on the host special. I'll just say, hey Jeanette, can I add my item to your show? And she's like, sure, add all you want. So that's usually now when I need stuff, I add it to a show because then I can make the commission on it. So when I need to replenish spices and things like that, I'll just add it to a show. All right, so you guys have the hearts. Here's where the stealing comes into play. We have uh, teal, white, and yellow. So who has the king? Oh, which color do you want? Yellow, white, or teal? All right, you're gonna hold that one, okay? <laughs> Who's got the 10? All right, which, one do you want? which color do you want? White. White, all right. Who's got the seven? Me. Who's the name? What the oh, you, did it. you got the yellow. Three non questions. All right, who's got the eight? All right, steal one. <laughs> who's got the queen? Steal one. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Oh, she wants to go with her necklace. Who's got the jack? Okay, you might got the jack. Oh, she's going back over. All right, who's got the three? Oh, one more. Her? All right. Yeah, what the heck? Oh Who's got goodness. the four? Okay, steal one back. <laughs> Give me that. Who's got the ace? Maybe. Probably a joker. <laughs> and who's got the five? Steal one. There you go. <laughs> who's got the two? Steal one back. <laughs> who's got the nine? I like that game. Steal one back. <laughs> and who's got the six? Steal one. <laughs> She thought she was going to for that level. Thank you. See, you just never know the luck of the draw there. All right, so now I'm out of cards. I will collect your cards. The prizes in your hands are yours to keep. You can open them up and see what's in them. All right.
Now, one thing that's available for everybody today that I um, is there is a prize for everybody. That is, if you decide you want to try on the apron and give this a little whirl, you can get ten dollars off your new consultant kit if you decide to sign up today. So I have that for all of you. I also, when it's time, um, I'm gonna have when you guys sit down. I also have a freebie for our lovely hostess, Jeanette. I'm gonna have you all write her a little thank you note on the inside cover yearbook style, and then that way we'll let her keep our season's best at the end of today, so that she can um, take this home and pretend to cook from it. Um, if you see something in there that um, you like, you should say, hey, we should meet up and we should make this on Tuesday to have for dinner together. She does. So here, I'll start this actually with you when we get when we sit down. I just might. I'm gonna see what it is. What's I have the other I don't think she wants these. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna top up our nachos with our pepper mixture. So you could always do red or orange or whatever color peppers you like. Oh yeah, red would be pretty in that one. And then so we had all that floating in our in our lines and anyway. Then this on it. And then sprinkle some of that on there. Do the rest of that. I didn't make a mess. <laughs> there you go. She's still looking. Oh, there you go. Twisted oh, clips because they disappear like socks. Yeah, they do. Yes. I, I they all end up at VCU. Is that where they end up at? Yeah, they do. <laughs> there you go. Yep, yep, pretty much it. Except for the little piece of, it's like cilantro when it's wet, it will stick to a little ceramic ball. So then what we'll do is you guys can, um, I have some plates back there behind Jeanette. You'll be able to use the tongs and grab yourself a um, beautiful hunk. And then um, I'll let you, what'd you find, what'd you get? This thing, I was just saying. Oh, you needed the scoop glue? Cool. Cool. Yeah. And then I know Jeanette got some, um, she said some salsa, right? This is the free gift when you spend $75 this month. It's our Easy Read um, Hollander. So it's great for like berries or like, you know, green and corn or uh, beans. Also, this part fits into the top of a can, like a tuna fish can or whatever. So if you're using our smooth edge can opener, you know, the top of the can, can you can't use to clean out your tuna. So this, I love this little guy for different things like that. And it hooks on the, st the sink like that. So you can like dump and rinse and dump and rinse. So that's really cool. So that's your freebie when you spend $75 this month. And then if you get to the $100 um, bucket, oh, sorry. When you get to the $100 level this month, you um, can pick a prize out of my bag right here. And you don't have to do it blindly. You get to dig in and see what you really want. So there's that too. And if you book a show today, you also get to dig in there and take a prize home too. So don't be shy. Come on up and um, eat some nachos. I got some plates right here. And then if you need um, a refill on a beverage, we can take care of that as well. And we can actually like sit right there at the dining table. Want to start adding that up for me? I can. Okay. So I do need all of this filled out right there as well. So when we do your orders, I do need name, address, phone number, and email. Everything is directly shipped now. So we don't, uh, Jeanette's not going to open the boxes and have to sort everything. It all comes directly to you. That's awesome. And so, and also the items are directly shipped before we close know, right? out the party. So I can send in y'all's orders while she's still collecting orders and you're not waiting on everybody else. That's awesome. Excellent. That's good. I'm on a pilot for that, so it works out really nicely.